So, it's been a while. Well, not really, but it's time for us to continue with the next part. This is part three of the Yu-Gi-Oh! campaign of Link Evolution. Time for the face-off. While Yugi's team worked their way through the tournament, our history now turns to Seto Kaiba for a moment. As remember, Seto had only been defeated in Duel Monsters once by Yugi. Seto had a little brother named Mokuba. Pegasus kidnapped Mokuba and locked him in a dungeon to lure Seto in a trap, and it worked. As Seto made his way to the dungeon to save his brother, Pegasus sprung the trap and stole Mokuba's soul, just as he had Yugi's grandfather. Seto Kaiba, do you care enough about your brother's life to try to save his soul? <laughs> You're not human. Quite human, actually. Just extraordinarily gifted. Pegasus threw a handful of starships at Kaiba. Here, you'll need these for your duel with Yugi. Why are you doing this? My reasons are none of your concern. Maybe, maybe I just enjoy the struggle, watching the constant tug of war between you and Yugi Boy. Or maybe I want something you're incapable of comprehending. Talk straight. What do you want? Want? I want to see if you are capable of defeating little Yugi in a duel. And only if you successfully crush him in a humiliating defeat will you get the opportunity to duel me. Then if you beat me, I promise to restore your brother's soul. For now, I have no choice but to play your game. But as soon as I defeat Yugi, I'll be back. And if you better make good on your promise to restore my brother, because if you don't, I'll take great pleasure in separating your soul from your body in my own way. And with that, Pegasus had another duelist under his control to take down Yugi. Yugi and I both have enough chips to get into the castle now. Isn't that right, Yu? Yeah. Finally. Grandpa, here I come. Hey guys, look. You're not going to believe who's blocking our way into the castle. It's Kaiba. I can't let you pass, Yugi. I've won 10 star chips, so stand aside. You may have won enough star chips to qualify for the Duelist Kingdom playoffs, but I can't allow you to face Pegasus. He's mine. You and I are going to have one final duel, Yugi. I'm not dueling you. I don't have to. So, no longer confident that your so-called heart of the cards can help you win? You're just afraid that you can't beat me a second time, you coward. Back off! He doesn't have to prove anything. Yugi, you said you won by tapping into the heart of the cards. And for a long time, I didn't know what that meant. But now I think I do. And it took Pegasus to show me. He gave me a reason to put my heart in the cards. For the first time, I can duel with fire and passion in my heart. Yugi, you can't accept this duel. I've changed. I deserve a rematch. Give me a chance to play you now, Yugi. Let me play you for the right reasons. Kaiba, I accept your duel. We'll see what you've really learned. You just named the place. Our dueling arena has been prepared. They skipped a three-part double trouble duel to make way for this one. Based off the three-part episode, face off. When Kaiba duels Yugi, but both of them have their reasons for fighting. They both do. And Yugi makes the first move, summoning his Celtic Guardian. Well, I may as well get started on the offense. May as well play this D spell card and see what face down it is. Yep. So much for your scapegoats. Just like how Kaiba used it to destroy Swords of Revealing Light. This is a bit of a different case. They nerfed the Crush Card Virus. Not once, but twice. Yeah, they changed it. And the White Stone of Legend. That's a tuner monster. Nuts. Hold on, let me fix this. Settings. There it is. Auto auto skip effect. There. Computer window decides when to auto skip. That's better. No, I'm not drawing anything. Yeah, I should have actually fixed this from the get-go. Your opponent declares battle. 
Yeah, they can't do much. I'll just have to buy time for now. Thank God Soggy the Dark Clown is useful in terms of defenses. Oh, so you're bringing out Curse of Dragon. Luckily for you, I've got a surprise for you. I'll chain both of them. First, my Crush Card Virus. It only has his spell. Swords are revealing like Mini Guts and Mystic Box. Just damn! Yeah, so much for his most powerful monsters. Just like in the anime. Now to add the blue eyes white dragon from my hand, from my deck. Ah, the second of three blue eyes white dragons. Just one more now, and then nothing will stop me. Well, it's time to give Kaiba a taste, then give Yugi a taste of his own medicine. I'll be taking your monster now, thank you very much. This is what makes it humorous and hilarious. Had Kaiba actually done that, that would have been a very underhanded strategy. Yeah, but since he lost his, some of his strongest monsters, he can't really do much. Oh, Swords are Revealing Light. That's a tough loss. Oh, wait, who am I kidding? This is a tough loss for you. Arm with Dispel, destroy. Now, with that destroyed, you don't have anything left. I only need one more Blue Eyes White Dragon. Then I can form Blue Eyes Ultimate and wipe the floor with this clown. Just like how in turn one, I used Exodia to destroy Kaiba the first time. I still remember this three-parter because it was like heavily hyped back when it was on Kids WB. And yeah, I also remember that Yu-Gi-Oh! was also on Cartoon Network for a time. Though just minimal commercials, it was like 22 minutes. It was a it was good. Yeah, I have two spells. So what? If they have a spell in their hand, gain a thousand life points. Much better. No, because I want to make this special. I want to make it worth it. Normally, he should just summon a monster to attack. And all I have are two blue eyes white dragons. Which Yugi would say, You have a blue eyes white dragon in your hand, but you haven't played it? That would be the exact thought. Time to show him what real ultimate power is. Blue Eyes Ultimate White Dragon. One, two, three. All three combined, they form the ultimate monster. The one thing that Kaiba wanted to bring out. 4,500 attack point monster. I was not going to save you. Neutron Blast! Now this makes it hilarious and ironic. You have nothing. That's a shame. And he gains life points. Big deal. Blue Eyes Ultimate White Dragon, wipe his sorry butt out now. Thank you. Yugi refused to finish his attack against Kaiba because he would have inflicted physical harm. When Yugi refused to attack, Kaiba struck and took the victory. 
In truth, the Japanese version of it was a bit different. Kaiba said that if Yugi attacked, he would jump to his death. That's what makes it so different. I can't believe it! That underhanded sleazeball wiped Yugi out! I'm sorry about your grandpa, but you did the right thing. You would have had to hurt Kaiba, and I know your grandpa wouldn't want to be saved that way. Then I guess he got what he wanted. If Yugi had done what needed to be done, he would be entering the castle, not me. But he was too weak to follow through on his play. Pegasus's plan had worked to perfection. Good job, Kaiba boy. As you wish, I will be your next opponent. Little Yugi didn't fare nearly so well in this rematch. His spirit is broken, and his grandfather's soul remains mine. <laughs> Man, I feel bad. Now the next, a duel of tears. Yugi, come on, Yug. Why won't he answer us? I've never seen him like this. He's totally out of it. Well, he did just lose his only chance to save his grandfather. Mai came sauntering up the steps of Pegasus's castle. What's up? If you have guys and have enough star chips to get into the castle, why are you hanging out here? It's you. He lost his chips to Kaiba, now it's like he lost his will to go on. So this little guy finally lost one, huh? Lucky for you guys that I came by. Listen up, Yugi. You got beat, but that doesn't mean it's the end of the world. When I got beat, I thought it was all over for me too. But then you stepped in and saved my star chips, and now I'm returning the favor. But if you give up your star chips, you can't win the prize money. I'm being kind, not stupid. Whoa, she already has 10 chips of her own. Go on, Yugi. You know that I owe you, so take them. Are my star chips not good enough for you? Fine, then I'll keep them, and your friends can wipe your nose all the way back to the nursery. Grow up. Sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. My, don't get mad. You just don't understand. Oh, I understand. Your friend lost one lousy duel and now he's too chicken to play again. Isn't that right? How pathetic. Come on, chicken boy. Duel me for them. I'll duel you. I'll do you right there, right here, right now, for Yugi. Based off the episode, Shining Friendship. The episode where Taya decides to stand up for Yugi. But at the same time, how am I actually provided some legit advice? Stop being a dang worry wart. And now I have actually everything I need. I summon first this. More power means more destruction. Now forty two hundred attack points. Yeah, in the right circumstances, you can pretty much use it to wipe the floor. What does she have? Harpy's Feather Duster! She just had to play that! This is what I get for jumping the gun. Fine. Shadow of Eyes? Oh yeah, because in the actual card game, it's not a continuous trap. It's a one-time. Activate Shining Angel's effect. Wait, I... Now to summon a second Shining Angel. And that lets me bring out Honest. Finally, united we stand.
I need him so that way I can start taking down foes. Bird face. You may as well switch your monsters to defense mode, my. Good, pl good move. I'll start by building up monsters. Man, th that was like a really dark moment for Yugi. Oh, now you attack. As I predicted. Oh yeah, more monsters mean that you can be able to go on the offensive. If I get more monsters, then I can increase my strength. Now we're talking! Now to get rid of this thing. Birdface lets her summon a Harpy Lady. The regular Harpy Lady. There's like multiple variants. You have the Harpy Lady, Harpy Ladies 1, 2, and 3, and Cyber Harpy. I don't know, I call that a bit karma. Summon shining friendship. Another bird face. I need to get rid of that. She summons, she gets a second harpy lady from her deck. Now let's hope it's good enough. She summons a Harpy Channeler. Discards and she can summon a Harpy Dancer. Okay, what's her other, fa other face down? And now she summons Harpy's pet Baby Dragon. And flips over Harpy Girl. Surprise your prize, you fell for my trap. San Anbaria, Mira Force. Now I summon the next monster, Happy Lover. Now I gotta keep on building up pain. And does she have something to fight back? Because if she doesn't, she's dead meat. She's done for him in next turn. I'll place this. I'll set this face down. Ooh, flipped. Which means the effect is negated. I thought it was Mirror Force. What a shame. Wipe them out, Honest. That's that. I surrender, Taya. I don't have the cards to win. I won! Way to go, Taya. You really came through for Yugi. Good match. Whatever. I didn't need these star chips anyway. Mai gave up her star chips and started to walk away. Wait, Mai. I have to ask you something. If you played that last card, wouldn't you... Have it was a throwaway. It was nothing that Taya wouldn't be able to beat anyway. Some cards just aren't worth playing, huh, Yugi? Thank you. Yugi, I... Um, I won these star chips for you. I know. Thank you so much. Sure thing. I'll never forget what you did for me, Taya. You overcame your fears for me. And you've given me the courage to deal with mine. I will do ag duel again. And hopefully the consequences won't be as bad as I fear. And now it unlocks this part. Oh, we also unlock a battle pack. Good. Now this one is also DLC. Time we move on to Champion versus Creator. Yugi and his friends enter the castle. 
they found out that Pegasus has granted Kaiba his prize. Kaiba was about to duel Pegasus. Where's my brother? What? No hello? No how are you? I thought we were friends, Kaiba boy. Don't tell me that kidnapping Mokuba and seizing control of your company has put a rift between us. It was nothing personal. Besides, it's not like I hurt your kid brother. He's perfectly safe. In fact, you can have him back if you like. Beat me in a duel and I'll release him as promised. But fail. And not only will his soul remain in bondage, but yours will join it. To save your brother, you'll have to defeat me. Defeat you? I'll crush you! Ready, Kaiba? Your brother's fate hangs in the balance. We've known each other for a long time, and now we'll see if the master of the, is the Duel Monster's creator or the champion. Time to duel! This is was actually DLC from for this game, the PS4 version. But thankfully with Link Evolution, we can now be able to use it. If only they added a bit more, like the Grand Championship. That would have been nice. And he starts off with a pot of greed. Hmm. Alright then, let's time for a Toon Table of Contents. I got two of these, so in case something goes bad, there you go. Now I activate this card by paying 1,000 life points. Which allows me to special summon any and all monsters. Oh yeah, you need to tribute two monsters for it. Very well then. Oh yeah, I can't attack with this. It cannot attack on the same turn it was played. They really also reworked some of the monsters. Ah, he summons Rude Kaiser face up in attack mode. And he now summons the Wall of Illusion. Not a good sign. Hmm, what to choose? Alright, now I got me a better monster. Now I summon this. Toon Gemini Elf! Believe me, cartoons are so violent these days. He releases both his monsters to summon a Blue Eyes! And to think he would actually have that. What's on my list? Big curry box. Hmm. This card can attack your opponent directly. No, it can't attack if it's in defense mode. A grappler? Looks like I'm in trouble. Or am I? I'll be taking your blue eyes white dragon. No, 
You stripped him of his pride! Yeah, this actually happened during their duel! Go! Shadow Spell! Now, not only can your tune not move, but its attack strength is lowered by 700 points! Kaiba had a Shadow Spell in anticipation. No, I don't have anything. If I had another monster, then I can use it to summon Blue Eyes Tomb Dragon. Summoner's Art? He has a second Blue Eyes. No, he's pretty much using one to destroy the other. Oh, this cannot be a good sign. Basically, he just used one blue eyes to destroy another. Just like how it was in the animation. Just like how it was. And I couldn't even get what I needed. I'm in trouble! No, he'll just sacrifice them both to summon another Blue Eyes. This is all I can do. Toon Goblin Attack Force. And here comes his third Blue Eyes! Kaiba, how are you getting this lucky? I have to ask! He used all three Blue Eyes White Dragons. And I got whooped. Wait for the right time to snatch it. Fair enough. Yep, Kaibo was really no laughing matter. Okay, looks like I have what I need. I'll set them both face down. It's all I can do for the time being. And he has Summoner's Art. A oh, blue eyes. Only has its one face down. Fine, time to bring out the dream clown. I'll be taking your monster, Kaiba. Please the direct damage counts. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I see. Shine Palace. Let's switch from attack to defense. Yep, it's the Wall of Illusion. Let him gain life points. Now I have... Now I have Crass Cloud. No, he needs two monsters. That's what he needs. Now we're talking. Activate Toon World. Which also lets me activate this. Toon Defense. Now to switch from attack to defense mode. I destroy Soggy the Dark Clown. And I flip summon the Crass Clown. Basically, I'm doing a combination. They can attack the turn into summon. Since I do have a Toon Monster on the field, I can just keep on attacking directly. Summoner's Art. Yeah, but no Blue Eyes White Dragons means that you can't do much. You're out of luck, Kaiba. Now to set the plan. Yep, attack the player directly. A second shadow spell? Oh my goodness, he had. I knew he had plans, but not this big a plan. Kaiba, how scummy can you be? Oh wait, I don't need to be that scummy. C Crush card virus. I don't need to be that scummy. You know what? I may as well special summon it by tributing my Toon Gemini Elf and La Jin. That takes care of both your shadow spells. Emerge, my blue eyes Toon Dragon. And now, direct attack. Negate attack. So that's your plan. Jeez. Switch from defense to attack. Return that to your hand. I now summon next Toon Cannon Soldier. 
And now to wipe you out, now I can start going on the attack this way. Yeah, Toon Monsters, you gotta give up 500 life points to play them. <sighs> Both his shadow spells have kicked the bucket. Switch from attack to defense. Boom. The whole crass clown, dream clown combination works. This one, you don't have to pay 500 life points. See you around, Kaiba. You got nothing left. You lose, Kaiba boy. And you've lost much more than just this duel, haven't you, Kaiba? You've lost the one and only chance you've had at rescuing your baby brother. You let him down. But don't worry, my dear friend. I will spare you the agony of carrying on in this world without him. Pegasus held up a blank card. What is that? It is the final fate of your soul, Seto Kaiba. Maximilian Pegasus captured Kaiba's soul with his Millennium Eye, trapping it in the blank card. Pegasus now had Seto Kaiba, Mokuba, and Yugi's grandpa's souls. Welcome to your new home, a place of solitude and seclusion. Ah, the brothers Kaiba, one in each hand. But even though your cards are so very close, your souls have never been further apart. That is scary. I don't care how you look at it. And now we press on to dual identity. The time had come for the Duelist Kingdom Tournament Finals and Yugi and Joey were more than ready. I sure hope I'm doing the right thing and deciding to duel again, but with Grandpa's soul at stake I have to. Yugi and Joey walked to the arena and met with the other two finalists, Mai and Bandit Keith. Bandit Keith had cheated his way into the finals and he had no plans to stop. Yugi, Joey, Mai, and Bandit Keith. I welcome all of you to the playoff arena. Here is where the last great Duel Monsters duel shall be waged to determine the championship of the Duelist Kingdom. Only one of you shall emerge victorious, only one of you shall win the $3 million prize, and of course the victor in the playoffs shall also earn the right to challenge me in the final match. The victor will be granted one request, whatever his or her heart most desires, and if it is within my vast power to do so, their wish will be granted. The victor will also be declared the undisputed Duelist Kingdom Champion, ranked number one in the world. And boys, that'll be me. Surely any duelist has come this far must realize the title and not the prize is the money is the real prize. Is that not so? You're a regular comedian. The money's all I needed for my sister's apparition. Yes, yes, I'm sure some of you have more riding on this tournament than the others, right, Yugi? You've got my grandpa's soul and Mokuba and even set Okaiba captive, but I'll find a way to defeat you and save them all. The first semi-final match was Yugi versus Mai. Although Mai was now friends with Yugi, she was playing to win. I used to think the only person a duelist could trust was herself. Everyone else was just an opponent. Then I met Yugi, and I learned through him that even the strongest opponents in the arena could still be friends outside it. If he hadn't loaned me his star chips, I might never have made it to the final round. I owe him a very great debt. I promise Yugi an honorable duel, and that's just what I'm gonna give him. But if he thinks that it that means I'm not gonna battle all out, he's dreaming. I'm gonna give this match everything I've got, so when Yugi goes down, it'll be a victory I can be proud of. I promised him an honorable duel, not an easy one. The two-part episode, Duel Identity, it was at that point that the soul between Yugi and his alternate self were conflicted. 100% conflicted. And Mai was the one who started the first move. Black Luster Ritual. Yeah. That I need to make sure I get my hands on. I need the Ritual Monster to activate it. 
You need both the ritual card and the ritual monster. And she starts with Heartbeat Dance Lady and forms Heartbeat Lady Sisters. Within the first turn, no doubt. And she has two! Should have had this played. Oh, wait. That is some brutality. Getting rid of this would be priority. This also weakens. The horn of the unicorn would be a bad sign. And... Are you kidding me? No, are you kidding? Are you serious? This is not good. Now Mai has what she needs to counter and beat me. Wish she does so. And she's gonna wipe the floor with me with this next move. Yep, whooped. Wait, she destroys her own face down? Just so she can power up her own monster. I'm gonna have to try a little harder if I am to beat it. You need a total of level 8 to ritual summon the Black Luster Soldier. And I see a Link Monster. When we get to Link Monsters, believe me, I'll provide my thoughts on that. I have both 1 and 7. This is all I can do. I need to get Black Luster Soldier on the field. Harpy's hunting ground. This is actually going to be one of the more harder challenges. So much for my only defense. That's humorous. She, even with the new master rule, she can pull a one turn kill. Or does she? Within one turn, she drains my life points down to 800. This card worked for you! Monster Reborn! Now I play this. Black Luster Ritual! Soldier Chaos Blade M Mirror Wall. What? 
I was able to pull Blackluster Soldier, but I got wrecked by Mirawall. What gives? <sighs> you gotta be serious. Yeah, Mai could pretty much wipe the floor with me that fast. But that mirror wall, had it not been there? Oi. And right away, she doesn't waste any time. Where is Mirror Force when I need it? Mirror Force would have actually saved my skin, you know? Advanced Ritual Art. I don't have anything. Honestly, don't. Not even monster recovery would help. That's disappointing. That's my third loss. How is she able to do this? And yet you gotta keep on playing again and again until you get the right one. She's meant to play brutally. Now she's discard. She can't attack. But if she summons another monster, I end up losing Spellbinding Circle. Yeah, but by doing so, you destroy your own spell. That was not the best strategy. Cyber Shield. She plays double! What's the point of me putting it in attack position? It's not gonna make a difference.
Yet another loss. Oh, so now you decide to give me Mirror Force. That's a bit too little too late for that, right? Well, what are you gonna play, Mai? Uh, the AI can be really problematic sometimes. Now it's time I destroy everything you have. You know what would have made me wish it would have gave me Mirror Force sooner? Now I can actually fight back for once. Three losses against it, and I'm like, wow. A hysteric sign. But you don't have a harpy on your field. Good. This card worked for you, my dear. Monster Reborn, and I'm summoning your dragon, Harpy's Pet Dragon. How'd you like getting a taste of your own medicine? But my two monsters will not last for long. I released Karibo and Feral... and Feral Imp to summon Gaia. All it took was one mistake. And all it's all good just one mistake. Ha! You don't have anything. Good. Time to give you a taste of your own medicine. Finish it off, Harpy's pet dragon. What a comeback! Wait, Mai, there's something I want to say to you. Huh? Thank you. You said a duelist can learn more from defeat than victory, and you were correct. But you, Mai, you taught me a lot today. I had to confront my own fears and weaknesses, or I could never have defeated you. It's awfully nice of you to say that, but it seems to me I also still have a lot more to learn. About dueling and about myself. But then I suppose no duelist ever learns all there is to know. And maybe the most important lesson is that defeat doesn't have to be forever. You won this duel, Yugi, but there'll be others. You and I will meet in the arena again, kiddo. And when we do, you better watch out. Jeez Louise. My god, I came back at this hard. We will continue this in part four, because I'm beat. If you enjoy it, please be sure to hit the like button. It means a lot to me. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and click the bell. Helps out big time. This is Mega Man NG signing off. Peace out.